In this lecture, you're going to learn about three very special functions in PHP. The first one is is callable. The second one is call user func, while the third one will be call user func array. Let's start with the first one is callable. This function is actually used to check if the value of an array can be called as a valid function. So let's say I have a function here called test, then echo, I am test. And then right here I have a variable called func name should be equal to test. So now what we want to do is use the is callable function to check if func name contains a value that can be called as a function or if func name is an array containing a valid object and function name. So we're going to say is, let's just put this in an if statement. We're going to say if is callable, if it's callable, func name, we're just going to echo function func name is callable. Otherwise, we're just going to echo the same thing, but this time it's not callable. Let's do a refresh on the browser. Function test is callable. So if I change the name, and then do a refresh, say function this is not callable. If we also change the name of the function here, and then do a refresh, get function test is not callable. This is because the value that we are passing into this function is callable does not represent any valid function in the script. All right, so this is just the basic way that we can use this. There are other options that we could do, like actually to get the name of the function that we are checking. So assuming we have test here, we can pass in one more argument, which is true. This is just to ensure that whatever we are passing into this function is a string or an array with a valid object and method name as a string. And then here we can actually then get the name of the function. So we can say name. All right, so let's echo out the name here. Say name. Funk test is callable test. Doesn't make sense, but just show you that we can actually get the value there. All right, so function test is callable test. All right, so let's consider one example of passing an array which contains an object and a valid method name. Right, so I'm going to just comment at this. And then here, we are going to create a class called this food. This class is just going to have one method called rice. All right, so this is rice, the method inside of this class. We don't want to do anything with rice, but we could say echo something echo rice okay so we have a class here class food and then inside of food we have a method called rice don't forget we are trying to pass an array to its callable function this array is going to contain an object of the class food and then the method that we want to check if it can be called All right so i'm going to create a new instance of the class food so we'll call this object equals new food and then we create an array called check this is going to be equal to object and then rice All right so rice is going to still be a string don't forget so we have this array here check which contains the object and then the method inside of the object if is callable check right so now we are not just passing a string to is callable we are passing an array to is callable and this array contains an object and then a method inside of the object echo yes otherwise we're going to echo no all right let's refresh this on the browser and see if it works right we get the value yes the same thing can still apply if we change the name here and then do a refresh again, get the value no, right? If we want to get the name of the object and the function, 
pass in the value through here and then get the name here all right so this should be inside of here so we can just come here and say yes name let's do a refresh now this is the name of the class and then this is the name of the method all right so let's go to the next one which is call user func this is also a special function that is simply used to call a callback function with required parameter a callback function is simply a callable function what we've been doing since is checking if a function can be called the callback function is a function name that is passed as a string as long as it is a valid function that can be called then it is a callback function so in order to automatically execute a callback function we can use call user func this is just going to execute that callback function with the required parameters let's illustrate this with a very basic example right here in our code i'm going to comment at all of this and here i'm going to create a function i'm going to call this president so this function is going to get the name of the country and then the name of the president all right just a simple function get me the country name and then the name of the president so the order here doesn't really matter you can put the name of the president first and then the country name later and then inside of this function we're just going to echo the president of country is name then end it with a semicolon let me also add a line break here so what we want to do now is actually call this function using the call user func function all right so here we are going to say call user func all right so this is a function we're going to give it the name of the function as a string all right so this is a callback function that we want to call this is president we we'll give it the name as a string and then we need to pass in the parameters that this function requires okay so the function president requires two parameters which one is country and then the other one is name okay so the first parameter will be nigeria and then the second parameter that we want to pass into this function will be the name of the president name of the president of nigeria at this time is buhari muhammadu all right so made a mistake here this should be funk ending with a c call user funk so if we execute this now we are going to see the president of nigeria is buhari m all right let me just run this on the browser the president of nigeria is buhari m so we can actually just repeat this president of america donald j trump as at 2017 all right so let's do a refresh on the browser the president of america is donald j trump all right so these functions may not make any sense to you now at your level but believe me as you progress in programming if you stay long enough on dev screencast you're going to see that these functions are actually very useful and they're going to save you tons of time all right let's see the last one so i'm going to just comment at this once again and then the last one is call user func array Okay, this is just like the one that we finished learning, which is call user func. The only difference is that the call user func array calls a callback function with an array of parameters. Remember the one that we just finished, which is call user func, we just only pass in the parameters. Okay, this is not an array, but we list the parameters that the function requires separated by comma. But now call user func array means we are passing an array of parameters all right let's see a quick example we're going to create a function to get a list of menu for our website so function get menus or set menus set menu let's say at this time we are going to set three menus so the first one will be menu one then the second one will be menu two then the third one be menu three and then inside of this function we are just going to echo we have the following menus first one will be menu one 
next one will be menu two and then the last one will be menu three okay so we can separate this with commas we have a function here called set menus which accept three arguments menu one menu two menu three and then inside of this function we just echo out the menus that will pass through to this function so what we want to do here is now say call user func array so i could say echo call user func array okay what function do we want to call this is set menus set m-e-n-u-s and then we are going to pass in an array of value let's say menu one is about us and then menu two privacy policy and then menu three home page so this function takes the callback which is set menu a function that we define here takes it as a string and then takes an array of arguments which is going to use to call this function so this is a function that is going to call whatever function that we set here on our behalf so this can actually be a function that we're going to call at a point in time when a certain event or call inside of our program so at that point in time it calls the exact function that it is supposed to call with the given array of arguments let's do a refresh here, see, so we have the following menus about us, privacy policy, and then home page. So this is just a simple example. But if the function is defined inside of a class, then as we did previously when we discussed about the is callable, we created a class here, food, and then a method, and then we create an object of the class and then store the objects and the method inside of an array and then pass it to the is callable function so we're going to do the same thing for call user func array if the function is defined inside of a class so let's say you are doing mvc programming and then you have a class which is called menu controller all right so this is a class called menu controller we are just going to move this function here we have a class menu controller and then we have a method set menus so if we attempt to do a refresh now we are going to get an error okay so warning call user func expected parameter one to be a valid callback function set menu not found or invalid function name so what we need to do is to create an instance of the menu controller class so we can say menus equals new menu controller and then instead of just passing in the string here what we now need to do is to pass in another array so this is going to be an array of object and then the method name all right so here we're going to pass in the object which is menus and then we're now going to pass in the method so this is the object which is an instance of our menu controller and then set menu is the method which we define inside of the menu controller class so if we do a refresh now this should resolve the issue okay so we should still get it working correctly